happy end of the year, people of the internet. Well, it is today. I am recording this on Friday the 30th of December. Christmas is over. New Year is approaching. Uh, my family have all gone home. And I just have two more days off work. Well, not including the weekend. I have four days off work. I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I go back to work on Tuesday. And I have not recorded one video while I've been off. Um, I have actually been having lots of sleep, lots of rest, walking the dog, spending time with my family, doing some colouring, playing some games, falling asleep on the sofa watching films. Yeah, that kind of thing. And it has been glorious. But now it is time for my final haul. My final haul of 2022 and my final haul for some time because yes people of the internet yet again i am going into the new year on a no spend just like i did last year but this time i'm going to stick with it because as i always say i have too much stuff so more of that will be covered later on next week because i'm going to film a video about my plans for 2023 but for now we are going to do my haul and we actually start um in uh oh, hello <laughs> black friday uh black friday was when was the when, when was black friday the 25th of november yes yeah, so that was it's about right i usually run my hauls from the middle of november to the middle of december and this was the first thing i bought uh, a black friday and this was uh it's, it's the 72 set of chroma flow you can see it they're not in here because i've got them in a 72 case because I have been using them and these went down to a really really crazily stupid price and it was mainly because Amazon were matching a British art store called WH Smith or stationery store called WH Smith so they went down to 71.99 which the, they are the cheapest it was the cheapest they had ever been um, they've been down a couple of times since but not as low as 71.99 so I took the opportunity to grab them and I have been playing with them a little bit to uh you know see what they're like so i bought the 72 set of chroma flows the other thing another thing that i bought for black on black friday was this which i actually thought i was going to use uh, to put the chroma flows in it was it was reduced from black friday deep they're usually about 16 17 pounds something like that this one was 13 pounds and it's one of those ones where you put the pencils in boop, 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 this way. So let's get some sample pencils. So you put like three up there, like that. You know, three in each thing up there. And then you put another three down here, like, like this. Now, it's not too bad and it's supposed to fit 96 pencils but 3 6 9 12 15 18 36 72 is what i can see that you can fit in it which was fine i wanted it i was going to use it for my chromatech but one of the things that i didn't like about it don't like about it is these bits this bit here is not level with this bit here so you can't when you get whenever it's filled up filled whenever it's filled up <laughs> when it's full up these all kink over kind of thing they don't stay straight these ones push them to one side because there's not i also don't like the way they layer over each other so um yeah i don't recommend these this this color in this type of um pencil case i'm going to do a review on pencil cases i think all the different ones that you can get but this one's not for me and i'm actually going to send this one back um even though it was a bargainous price i don't need it i'm not going to use it and uh what i'm going to do is review it first of all and then and then send it back because it just doesn't do what i wanted it to do um now the next thing i bought uh was also black friday and it wasn't from Amazon. It was from Kaz Arts, which is a London, UK based art shop. And it is the full set of 100 Lightfast. And these were reduced to 
£249, which is a really good price for the 100 set. Um, it's £2.49 a pencil. But for a period of time around the Black Friday at time, they had 20% off all Derwent uh, items. And 20% off of £250 is £50. <laughs> So these were less than 199, 195 something or something like that for the full set, which is £1.95 a pencil. And I have sharpened them and played with them. Uh, I haven't swatched them all, or have I? Yes, I have actually. I, I swatched them all, didn't do it on camera because I just wasn't making videos then. But I have swatched them all, I'll find my swatch sheet somewhere. Um, and interestingly, I already had the 36 set of these, but I have let them go into the ether and replaced them. Well, I had a 36 set of these and they are now gone. Um, but this was a, a, re a really good buy. Um, so that is my light pass pencils, which I'm very pleased to have. So the next thing that I bought with my own money was a set of the new Ohuhu Kalar Kala pens, which are the new ones with the with the fat, thin, skinny chisel. Now I haven't had time to open and play with these yet. I have opened them and had a look, as you can see, here they are in all their glory. But I am actually going to do a video about these. I know there are a few videos out there at the moment. Oh, look at the label coming off. They come in a nice box, but yeah, I'm going to have a play with them, see what I think. I mean, I do love a no hoo hoo as well, you know. So I needed to uh, see what these were like when they come, you know, when they came out. But I have no idea what they're like. So that was, they were the next thing I bought, which I, I got them on the day they were released, I think. And then. Uh, okay, next I got these, which are the Kuritaki Opal Colour Paints. Now these are paints, <laughs> watercolour paints, let's zoom me down a little bit. Though this one isn't much use because it's mostly in Japanese. But you get opal pink, opal copper, opal gold, opal green, opal blue and opal violet. And I specifically wanted these because I wanted to... Well, I want to, because I haven't done it yet, paint fairy wings. And I do believe these... I can't get it out. I have opened this, so why can't I get it out? There we go. Yeah, you can. Can you see the colours? Not really. I can. You can see the sort of pink and the blues and the greens. Iridescence in this. But I want to paint fairy wings with those. Because it will do, you know, that sort of like iridescent -y ness, ness, ness that you get. But it's just like the translucentness of fairy wings. Um, that's what I want to want to use these for. And um, there was also something else that I bought. They came took a really long time to come, which was from. Um, these are also watercolors. This is from. The art spirits, so you get all the, they literally only, these literally, I ordered them, I don't know, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th of December, something like that, and they came really, really, they came after Christmas, or did they come just before the 22nd, anyway, either way, they took a really long time to come, um, that is not Rebecca at Art Spirits' fault, that is the Royal Mail Post's fault, but I bought a couple of uh, paints as well, fairy ring wing to do fairy wings with um the white rabbit which is like a white oh you're not going to see it i haven't had time to open these either because these come just as my family were were here so i had to focus on on them this one is light pearly silver and this one is glistening surf which is like a bluey silvery one so i'm looking forward to spending some time to swatch all these and have a play with them and i've even dug out my old i bought these um last year from renaissance 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 paints on etsy i've got all these together because i want to put them in a little tin as it were and when you buy something off of rebecca look you get all these little 
sweets and a fruit tea and a little jar of fairy dust, I suppose. So, yeah, that was very cute. And then the next thing that I bought was finally <laughs> I bought the Karen Dash um, little palette thing. I have the full set of Karen Dash uh, near color twos. I've had them a really long time for when I was doing art journaling stuff. And I use a chopping board that I got from IKEA. And the chopping board that I got from Ikea is about this big and it was about $1.99 and it's the same plastic and it's the same roughness but it doesn't have the smooth side. Um, now for the smooth side you can use a CD box or any kind of hard plastic box really. So you don't really need to buy these but I had one in my basket. I had it in my basket for a while just because... Just because... And it was around eleven ninety nine, ten ninety nine, something like that. And then suddenly it just dropped to seven ninety nine. And um, I was using a voucher. I had a voucher to spend, and so I bought it. I bought myself the actual real Karen Dash palette, so I could get rid of using my. I must admit, my IKEA little chopping board that I use is really heavily stained, so it's quite nice to have a nice clean one. I think that's it for stuff. And then we're going to move on to books, of which there's not many. And then we'll move on to Christmas presents. Um, so the books that I got in December uh, were this one from Colour Questopia, which is Around the World uh, Travel Colour by Number, which it looks quite nice. It's places, so Paris, and I like ones with the small details. I do wish that Colour Questopia, if you're listening, Colour Questopia would go back to doing ones with more than 25 colours. Find the small details, more than 25 colours, and do them for, like, you know, advanced users. Because as much as having only 25 colours is handy, sometimes when you're doing something like this, you want the nuances of multiple coloured greens. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that I can put multiple coloured greens in there, and I usually do when I do something like this. But it would just nice if that... Colour Questopia had not followed the pack and gone with the 25 colours and make it easier and stayed, you know, more advanced, more advanced colour by numbers, as well advanced as you can get by colour by numbers because it is really just, you know, colouring numbers. Anyway, I quite like the look of that one, so I bought it when it first came out, so I got it on the, you know, reduced price when it first comes out. Uh, the next colouring book I was uh, gifted by Ollie Colours and I've done a flip through of it. You'll see the link up here if I've timed it right. And uh, I like this one. Um, this is like Zodiac. If you haven't seen the flip through and you're not interested in looking at the flip through. It is the Zodiac signs morphed into anime characters. So that one will be Gemini. And you get like three pages of each of the sort of Zodiac signs with these really cute anime you know characters i'm not really into anime but i love their dresses and i'm really going to enjoy uh coloring the dresses and it's got a subtle gray scale which i really like because i do like coloring gray scale <gasps> i'm actually getting quite excited because now all my family have gone over at home and christmas is over all right today is friday the 30th and i've got saturday sunday and monday and i'm just gonna play with my stuff and I can't wait. I looked at that and I thought, oh, I've had to colour in that now. And then the next one that I bought, and I really wished I had time to have done that little houses, but I will do it next year. Because next year I intend to have, you know, colouring uh, day. We had colouring days with my family leading up to Christmas this year. And I wanted to spend time doing this with them. But um, my mum felt thought the details were too small for her. So I'll probably do it myself next year. But I've got to have an RJ Sampson Christmas book if it exists because I just look at that clock. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> um, yeah, really like the colouring in this. I really like the RJ Sampson stuff. So, yeah, I got that, same as everyone else. Um, and then the next two books are not colouring books, but they are crafty related. They are 
and I bought these with my voucher. I got a gift voucher, Christmas gift voucher from work, and I used half of it to buy, <laughs> to buy a new kettle. <laughs> and look at me being all grown up and buying a kettle. And then I used the other half of it to buy these because I wanted these and they're quite expensive. My mum bought me the first one either last Christmas or the Christmas before, whenever it came out. And I've been hankering after these two for a while, but they're quite expensive and I didn't really want to ask my mum to get them, though she always asks, you know, what she can buy me because I think they're expensive for her to buy. So I was really pleased to get a gift voucher from work and use these. Now these are stickers, these are all stickers. Uh, this one is bibliotech, so it's all sort of letters and things to do with books. And then this one is Imaginarium, which is oh, lovely this one. And the reason why I like these books and the reason why I used to like ephemera books is because I like, I did like doing art journaling. I stopped doing art journaling but I've been thinking again recently, <laughs> mainly because I got that really nice, you remember that um, mixed media book that Ohuhu sent me? And playing with my pens in that and doing some backgroundy things. Just fancy doing a little bit of collage and a little bit of playing around again, really. That's why I wanted these. So I bought these with my voucher from work. Now, that is it for stuff that I have bought everything else now I got for Christmas. So let's start at the beginning. Um, and these are, these were bought for me by my brother, which I think was adorably sweet. Um, he, we was in, where do these come from? B&M or the other one? Home bargains, I think it's B&M, isn't it? If you're in the UK, you'll know. And um, we was in B&M and my brother said to me, oh, I bought a set of them pencils uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're quite good. And I said, oh, yeah, I've got um, the little tray ones. And I said, but I don't have them ones. And then for Christmas, I unwrapped these <laughs> and he bought me the other, uh, the four sets that are available. At least I think there's four sets available. It looks about right. These are sort of like the oranges and pinks, the greens and the blues, or the greens and the... Well, they're all greens really aren't they and then the purples and the blues and the pinks and the red it looks like a sort of ball set um but then i was worried that these were the same colors as the ones in the drawers that i've had before and i've shown on here before but they're not they are different colors so i don't know if they together the two lots the drawers and the tins make up the full set but my brother bought from these for me and i thought that was adorably sweet um because like I needed more pencils but I do like playing with pencils and trying them out so they were from my brother and then these two books were from my mum my mum bought me a jigsaw as well um I actually got a couple of jigsaws for Christmas I got two from friends four from my husband one from my mum but I'm not going to show jigsaws in this video because I've already filmed a jigsaw haul of video of, of jigsaws that I bought and I haven't edited or uploaded that so what I'm going to do is just add on the end of that the jigsaw puzzles that I got for Christmas. So yes, my mum bought me these two books and um, so Night Garden and Forest Song which again RJ Sampson, RJ Hampson not Sampson Again, adorably cute. Everyone knows what they look like. I've had them on my list for a while. Just really nice. So my mum bought me those two. And then my husband, uh, he bought me um, some Switch games and some Samsung headphone earbud things for my phone. But colouring wise, he also bought me uh, this, the Kingdom of Curious Creatures, which by Kanoko Agusa. This is the English version. It came out fairly recently. I don't have any other version of this. The other Kanoko Agusu book, I did have the Dutch version of, but this one I don't. So I was happy to get that. So my husband bought me that for Christmas. And then the next thing my husband bought was... <laughs> The set of 240 Calore 
that's the ones in this tin and this is quite a funny story let me see how far i need to bring them up to get it out Ooh. Ooh. look how beautifully this is wrapped right so it comes in a box and then oops <laughs> within the box is this sarcophagus sarcophagus made of foam and then oh it's upside down and then you open the sarcophagus and there are the beautiful pencils now Kalar pencils are exactly the same as Brute Fuuna pencils I know that because the manufacturer of the Brute Fuuna pencils told me so and when they sent I've never made the video but I have a video recorded but not edited about the stuff that um, Brute Fuuna the manufacturer of Brute Fuuna sent me and they sent me a set a small set not this set of Kalar pencils and when I got them they are lovely the Brute Fuuna pencils are lovely and I was like is it wrong of me to want the 240 set now I've sort of had a taste and um, in the UK for some reason in America these are re really easy to get but in the UK they're sort of like randomly pop up on Amazon for £90 and £70 and then just before Christmas November time they popped up for £50 and I was like, £50 for 240 pencils is not bad, but they're brute funas and brute funas are usually 20 quid. And um, so I kept looking at them, but I was like, not going to do it. And then they all went out of stock and I was like, OK, well, it's fine. I'm not destined. I didn't need any more pencils. I certainly didn't need any more brute funa type pencils. And then they popped back up again just before Christmas. And I was sitting downstairs and I went, oh, them Kalor pencils are back in stock. And my husband said, are you going to get them? And I said, no, I don't think I'm going to get them. Though they've popped up for a reason. Anyway, I didn't get them, but he did. And here they are. I now have the 240 sets of Kalar pencils. And I am not buying any more pencils. Hear me, people of the internet. I'm not buying any more pencils. I do not need any more pencils. I have every set of pencils I could ever heart's desire. I remember making a video. Even last year or the year before saying i didn't need expensive pencils i was happy with my arteza pencils and i was <laughs> so i definitely don't need any more pencils so that's it that is let's put something there so you can um look at something while i uh say that's it <laughs> that's it that is the uh, the bits and bobs that i got for i bought in december and on prime day and got for christmas and all the other goodness related to that and this i'm going to make another video which will go live on the first so this will be live either today if i edit in time or tomorrow if i don't and then i've got another video that's going live on the first and then next week i will do a video about my plans for 2023 but so you know one of those things is definitely going to be a um no spend um but yeah, I've got some other plans that I want to talk about. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and you were able to spend time with your nearest and dearest and eat loads of food and indulge in all the fancy things that you like over Christmas. Um, and a happy new year. And uh, yeah, here's to 2023. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. I've just come back to say I missed something. I bought these alcohol markers also i bought these alcohol markers recently um they were reduced to 12 pounds and they are 30 skin tone colors though you do get a black and a colorless blender so really it's 28 but the colors of them are very well the same same name same colors as um the ohuhu ones i think they are the ohuhu ones and they're a brush tip as well and so i bought these because they were 12 pounds <laughs> and i wanted to see um how oh i can't use that i was just about to scribble on my new diary can't be doing with that i wanted to see how similar oh they're nice let's get a flat piece of paper oh they're nice yeah, they're not bad for £12. Let's just quickly do that to see what oh, wrong end what their ends are like. Oh, they are very.
very similar, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, so for £12, instead of, I don't know what it is for the, um, they're the same shape as something else. Are they the same shape as? Anyway, I'll link them down below. They were a bargain. Let me just get for the lid for that, which has gone on the floor. And also tell you about um, the other thing that I forgot to mention because I was <laughs> rushing through it because I wanted to get it edited was the fact that I, because I'm going on a no spend, I decided to buy anything that I wanted. No, I still had um, some money left in uh, Christmas voucher that I got from work. So I went into my wish list and I bought the three books that I had left in my wish list that no one had bought for Christmas for me. Um, so, uh, and they're not coming until, I only bought them yesterday. Was it yesterday or this morning? Anyway, and I uh, arranged for them to come all on the same day, like to save the shipping and them delivering one tomorrow, one on Tuesday, one whatever, uh, just deliver a lot on Friday. And uh, so I, on my wish list, I have bought with the remainder of my gift voucher, so they are considered to be purchased in this haul, and as I won't be doing a haul in January, they need to be shown now. I have ordered this one by Coco Wyo, which is Mystery Island, and it looks amazing, and I, oh, it's been on my wish list for a while, so that one will come next week. I did that as though I moved it out of the way. And then I've also ordered the two books by Rita Berman that I don't have, which is the Winter Walk and the Autumn Walk. And while I was ordering those, they do this thing now on Amazon, that if the things are coming from the same warehouse, at the bottom it tells you things that are available from the same warehouse, but you can get 5% off. So when I ordered the Winter one, um, the autumn one come up and said you can have this for five percent five percent off if you order it at the same time and we can deliver it at the same time and i was like oh okay i was gonna order it anyway so i got five percent off of it and also showing in that same list of things that were available for five percent off were um a set of these <laughs> which are the derwin blender pens i already have a set uh, which i use quite a lot for blending um pencils with and my small tipped one has started to get a little bit grimy so that when you blend lime light colours with it now. And that was already reduced from three ninety nine to three uh, sorry, from five ninety nine to three pound forty nine. And then they had an extra five percent off, which made them like three pound thirty or something. So I also ordered a set of those and I used the last of my Christmas voucher. Was there something else? I thought I ordered something else as well. Colouring book. Was there another colouring book? Hold on. Yes, there was. There was another colouring book. Um, I ordered Spruik. Spruik? Spruik. This. This book. I also ordered this book. I knew there was another one. Another one in my wish list. Um, this came back into stock recently. And when I bought Drum and Venga, uh, this one was in stock. But I decided to try Drum and Venga first. And if I liked it, then get the other one. But then by the time I thought about getting the other one, it went out of stock. And it was back in stock. And yeah, so this was the last of my voucher. I think I have a little bit of my voucher left, but I will save that. So sorry about that. Thought I'd finished, but I hadn't. I forgot about the pens and I forgot about the stuff that I ordered that's coming next week. And that's it. That is it for 2022 and, uh, you know, spending wise, haul wise. And that is it for quite some time. But I'll tell you more about that next week. So thanks for watching. Take care and happy new year.